Welcome. Thank you. Paul, thank you very much for being here because it's late. You've been all day, all day listening to people talking like this, right? Slide, 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 slide. So it's actually good that I can't project anything so we can do some stuff, right? How about that? Yeah? Sounds better? Yeah. Okay. So this topic that I'm going to, I'm not going to introduce myself or tell your story so it's much nicer. So all that stuff that you do so people like your talk, even when you don't say anything valuable. So I will skip that. Sorry. I will try to get you something really valuable, but really, really advanced. It's a really, really, really advanced topic, right? So be ready to be confused. If you feel so confused, you can leave the room. It's okay, right? But it's going to be a really uh, advanced topic as long as I will try to explain everything. I'll try to explain everything. Why Agile? Why does it come now? What is relevant? What is going to come next? How the human develops? How societies grow? How the universe changes? I'm going to explain everything because I'm going to use the integral theory, which is intended to explain that, to explain absolutely everything. We're going to put it in the context of organizations and in the context of agility. Hey, well, just in case. Yeah, thanks a lot. In the context of agility, because in my, in my opinion, agility is just about this. We are not inventing anything new. We're just trying to take organizations to the next level. It's, just, it's yet to be discovered what the next level means. And this is what we're going to do now, okay? Are you ready for that? Yes, are you comfortable? So please stand up so you're not comfortable anymore and come here around, like make a pretty big circle. Okay, not so close, not so close, not so close, not so close, like this, okay, okay. So let's do that. We are here we have this quadrant, we have a, we're going to separate this big group into four smaller groups, okay? So for that we're going to do tribes, yeah? Okay, so I need the, and don't move yet, I need the tribe of developers, the people who are still coding, yeah? To go in this quadrant. This is the tribe of developers, okay? Good. So the people who are more related to project management and that stuff, yeah? They're going to be here, engineering, architects, uh, people that are not coding anymore, more related to project management-ish or strategizing, yeah? So this is the tribe of project management. People who are more related to product development, product development, yeah, connection with the customer, or they don't come from IT. Thank you very much for being here. You go here, which is the customer tribe, customer tribe. And here, we're going to put the people that is coming from the part of the organization that cares about other people in the organization, yeah? Human resources, coaches, scrum masters, yeah? Whoever is, whoever is in the human development, human development tribe, all right? Understood? So we have, we have don't move yet, don't move yet. We have developers tribe, we have a ma project management tribe, we have a customer tribe, and we have a human development tribe, okay? Go, go to your tribe. And you can't be in the middle, you can't be in the middle. Don't touch the lines, if you touch the line, you're burned. They're electrified, electrified. Okay, okay. Pretty good, pretty good. So we have we had uh, quite a bit of developers. Great stuff, great stuff. You actually do uh, things. It's good. The rest of us is do not chit chatting. So uh, in, just in order to balance this a little bit for the exercise, just to balance. So sorry, developers. Uh, I would need some of you to move, but I won't force you to stop developing. So have you, as you feel, some of you, have you feel comfortable moving to this quadrant or this quadrant that are more empty, please move a little bit, yeah? Someone, please, let's move here to this side. Yeah, 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 yes, sure, thank you. So this is developer tribe, this is project management tribe, this is customer tribe, it's just customer tribe is a little bit empty. You decide, you go, 
You can't. This is fire. This is fire. You have to decide. Like in life. Like, you know. It's, you go inside or outside. No, I decide because there is, this is empty. It's just for the exercise. <laughs> it's just for the exercise. No worries. I won't force you to work only here. Just for the exercise. Okay? Yeah? Please, some people from here that likes customers. Just for the exercise. Just for the exercise. I want, I want to stop you from development. Yeah? Just for the exercise. Please, some of you. Okay, good, good, go, 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 go. Okay, whiskers. Okay. <laughs> very good, very good. No, this is fire. You can't be there. You have to be here. No, it's impossible. <laughs> then I have to split you in two, and half of you do the exercise here, half of you do the exercise there. No, it's not possible. Go there. Okay, very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. So I, I was separating you in groups because we're going to do exercise in these groups. Yeah? Okay. So I have a mission for these four groups. The mission is you have to order the group, each of the groups. Yeah, let's see who is first. Yeah, according to one criteria, that is the color of your socks. And once, once the group is ready, you tell me, go fast, order the group according to the color of your socks. Go, 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 go. Done! Ready! Oh, they, they won. They won. We have a winner here, so please explain me how it works, how the system works. Yes, a line. exactly, a line. A, a line. Yeah, so what you, what you did is just you did a line, which is the best way we know for doing orders, right? Lines. Yeah, what great stuff, great stuff. So this is what we would c can call an obvious problem, yeah, because we have we have known knowns. We have information that the whole team know. Yeah, all the team knows what the color is. All the team knows what an ordering is. So it's just about categorizing. Yeah, you need to understand. Okay, know the solution, know the problem. It's a line because it's an order. Then you solve. Yes, understood. Yeah, good. So all organizations do that and find the best practices to do some stuff that is repeatable, that they know they work. All organizations have some of that, some that, what, that we're going to call standards, okay? So for this quadrant, we're going to call this quadrant standards quadrant. Yeah, whoops. Okay. Standards. Sorry. Is this on camera? <laughs> it's good. Oh, a point number below. Okay, good. The standards. We're going to put it here in this quadrant here. Yeah. Good. So organizations have some standards, and it's something valuable for organizations. It's something that we invented from the craftsmanship, right? So we invented that there are some best way to do some stuff. Yeah. Craftsmanship. And these people here, these developers, they are great at that. They are great at finding the best way to do something and repeat something that they know is good and automated. Automated, yeah? They are good at that, okay? So part of the organization, they just repeat things that they know are a good idea, yeah? They don't only do that, yeah, they don't, but sometimes they do. And what they do with that piece is automation. Find something that works, automate it. Okay? Good. So now you have the second challenge. So teams, this is your opportunity to win. And you have more information. Now you know that you can do order by doing a line. Yeah? You have information. <laughs> Good. Okay? So now I need you guys to order the team. Again, according to two criteria instead of one. One is the color of your socks. The second one is how long does it take you to get to work every morning? 
Ja, daily commuting time. Okay, go. Ready? Ready? Okay, we have a winner here. We have a winner. We have a winner here. Okay. How do, how does your system work? <laughs> like it sucks in a circle? Oh, okay, okay, so the one criteria is ordered by the line, the second criteria, you go closer or farther from the center of the circle. Okay, very good, very good. Let's congratulate them. Very good idea. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so this kind of problem is a problem that we can call as complicated. As we put some uh, two obvious problems together, and we need to do some analysis to solve this problem. There were some known unknowns, information that I know you know, I don't know yet, but I need to discover. I can discover and I can solve the problem. Therefore, what I do is analyze, try to find what is a good way to solve it, because of course I know that all the teams have solved the problems or, or are able to solve the problem. And out of this good way to solve the problems, we decide which one is best. This is the engineering capability. This is what engineers do, right? We try to analyze information and they come up with a solution, right? The thing is, as engineers, we come up with the solution faster because we have more expertise. What we do often is also this. We find a solution, we understand it is the best way, so for us, it's obvious. For us, it's a standard. Yeah? Are you following me? Great stuff. All organizations need that capability. All organizations need to do some of engineering to do that, yeah? And we invented that in, in, in the first industrial revolution because that leads us to efficiency and gets us money, right? <laughs> so we're doing things every time better and better. This is how we get money. And uh, actually we have people here that are supposed to be experts in that, right? So the project management people, they are supposed to be finding ways for things to be on time, on budget, on scope, and the best and fastest as possible. And of course, engineers work here a lot to decide what is the best way to do things on the technical side. So all organization needs these capabilities. All of them. Yeah? Good? These guys are helping us with that. That's awesome. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more difficulty in the game. Are you ready? You guys ready? Okay. <laughs> so what I need you guys to do is I needed these teams, so the four teams, to build a product. Yeah? But you are going to build a product with some rules. The first rule is that you can't talk. Yeah? Talking is not allowed. Yeah? Talking is not allowed. I will give you some a specification at the beginning, and then I will give you feedback. Okay? Good. And the thing is, for, for creating this product, you can only use your body. Yeah? So you will be the pieces of this product. Okay? Sounds good? So what I say, go. I need these four teams. Without talking, just build a boat. Go. Build a boat. Go, 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 go.
No talking, no talking. Just build a boat. Okay, enough, enough. Stop there, stop there because I will give you some feedback. Okay, well, all the products look too similar to me. I don't like that. I want, uh, for sure, I want the captain that I like the captain. I like the captain. Yes, I like the captain in the boat. Good. I want, oh, great idea. Great idea. I want like, I want like that. Sailor. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that stuff. No, not now. Not now. You have to listen to the feedback. You have to listen to the feedback. Uh, I need, okay. Sorry, guys, but I need some beauty in the front of the bark, in the, the boat, right? Some, uh, sorry. <laughs> but nice try. Nice try. Okay. I need some beauty in the front of, 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 the, of the boat. I need a captain, right? And I need uh, rowings also. I need, you know, someone rowing. Yeah? Sounds good? So please improve the boat. Go! Improve the boat. Okay, 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 good. I have this beauty in the front. Sorry again, man. <laughs> okay, sorry again, man. No beauty, no. Very beautiful. Okay, very good. Very good. Cap no captain, no captain. Okay, no captain. Okay, well, I, very good, very good. I need, I need something like this. And now I also want some cannons because it's going to be a war, war boat. Yeah, okay. So please improve the boat. Improve the boat. Go! Improve the boat. <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. We have the captain beauty here, Ma a lot of beauty here, double beauty. <laughs> good beauty there, beauty here. Captain, what is captain, your captain, cannons. Okay, okay. Well, this is more or less what I expected. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, eh. Uh, Let's say before it was one way to solve the problem. Yeah, it was like a yes, no problem is solved, problem is not solved. Yeah, good. But now it was no so clear wh what means to be right or wrong or good or bad, right? Because it's my impression of what I wanted. Yeah, I was a customer. It was, and of course, it's impossible for me to explain you exactly what I want because actually while you were doing the boats I was discovering some information about the boats yeah it's not that I'm all day doing boats with people yeah so I need to stop the system inspect the system get information give you feedback and we progressively improve yeah so this is what we call complex problems yeah in complex problems there is no one way to solve the problem yeah it's impossible to Repeat, in a repeatable way, perfect, solve the problem and give me the boat that I exactly want. That's not possible. Because there are information that you don't know that you don't know. And me neither. Information that is impossible for me to communicate to you. I can't communicate or specifically who should put where himself. Yeah? It's, it's impossible. So as we don't have all the information and it's impossible to get all the information, the only thing we can do is to try. Yeah, experiments, running experiments, give you information and you improve next time. Yeah, so out of those experiments, I get information about the system. I get emergent practices. I get just learning information about the problem. Yeah, so well, we have uh, some problems that require experimentation, and the only way to solve is through experimentation, and leave there. There are problems that leave there. Like the success of a product, the success of a service, uh, finding the right partner. It's the only thing that you can do is just try. And after you try, you learn. Yeah. So how does it work to tackle those problems? Well, you choose a hypothesis. You choose one experiment. You decide to do something. Yeah. And after that something, you stop, inspect the system, come back, and uh, 
take it to the engineers and the building again. Yeah, this is a problem of building, getting feedback, and rebuilding. So this is this blue dynamic. Yeah, this is actually what we do with Agile. It's nothing new. Yeah, what we want to do is be just better at doing this experimentation cycle, understanding, and this is the bad news because we come from here, understanding that we can't solve the problem in a retail way. Sometimes we will fail. But of course, living in this world and coming from this world that understand that it's, there is a solution, understanding that sometimes there is no solution and sometimes you need to fail is extremely painful. It's extremely painful. And we have this tribe here that is customer oriented that they are used to try to experiment and try to understand the customer, knowing that there is no perfect way to solve that problem. Yeah? So experimentation is another capability that all organizations need. All organizations need to be able to experiment. Yeah, all of them. And these people here are experts on that. Absolutely, the, the, the challenge is that now it's becoming every time more relevant. Experimentation is becoming more relevant because of this. Because we have a democratization of consumption. As, cons and as customers, we have more power. We want customized service. Yeah? So customization, democratization of consumption. And sh now, servicialization. People don't buy so much products. They start to buy services. No much uh, owning a car. Now, CTB. Yeah? No much uh, hotels. More Airbnb. Yeah, no much owning uh, scooters, now Lime. People go for services. That brings more power to the customer, which involves more need for customization. This is what is happening now. Why Agile happens in software? Well, software is meant to do that. Software is meant to explain a computer how should the computer be customized for a specific need. Yeah, so in software, we're the first people struggling with this problem. You are asking me for a boat, but you don't exactly know what you want. So I can't, in a repeatable way, know if I'm going to solve the problem and when it's going to be fixed, because it's not a repeatable problem. It's not a complicated problem. It's a complex problem. We are struggling. I can ensure that I will, that I will build a boat, but I can't ensure that you will like that boat. So in software, we are experiencing that pain first, and that's why the, the community of Agile and the Agile movement starts, yeah, because we are a lot of pain with it. Okay, so thank you product people, customer people for being there for experimentation. Yeah, good. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit more difficulty in the game. Yeah, and this is going to be fun, very fun. So please, you have to be super focused because the instructions of this game are difficult. Yeah, good. So first, you can't talk. Second, you can't do any gestures, yeah? No gestures. Third, you can't touch other people, okay? Oh. So with this rule, this game is called the blind bodyguard. Blind bodyguard, yeah? So without, without saying to anybody, you have to choose someone that is in another group and Keep in your mind, he's going to be your blind bodyguard, yeah? So, for example, this gentleman here, he's going to be my blind bodyguard, yeah? Same rules, you can change blind bodyguard, and you can be your own bodyguard, for sure, yeah? Good. Same rules, you have to choose your blind assassin, yeah? Blind assassin. So, for example... Sorry about that. You will be my assassin, but she doesn't know. Yeah. Okay. You have your blind bodyguard and your blind assassin? That you can do. Yes? Okay. Okay. So when I, when I say walk, you have to protect yourself. So in my case, I have to walk here and be behind my blind bodyguard so she can't shoot me. Yeah, if I'm here, she will kill me. Okay, so please protect yourself. Run! Protect yourself, protect yourself. You got me killed. Oh my god, don't! No. <laughs> 
Okay, stop. Okay, I'm I'm clearly dead. I'm clearly dead. Please raise your hand in case you would be dead. Okay. Okay, guys. I I I don't honestly. Just, I know that this is Lithuania. Kind of nothing happened here, right? So one people get killed every three hundred years. But <laughs> guys, they are killing you. Right? It's like. So you have to survive, okay? So please survive. Go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to get killed. <laughs> okay, stop. Again, I'm dead. Please raise your hand in case you're dead. I'm not sure. This is this is so terrible. This story. So your last chance to survive. Guys, okay, I'm gonna give you guns to your blind uh, 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 assassins, right? So please survive. Go! <laughs> okay, stop! <laughs> same question, same question. Who is that? I'm, I'm clearly dead. Okay, good. Great, great, great stuff. So please go back to, give a uh, hand to yourself and go back to your tribe. <laughs> okay, go back to your tribe, go back to your tribe. Go back to, very good, very good. Okay, so what I wanted to do here is to get you confused right to get you to a situation in which potentially you never been before and you are forced to act yeah so this is what we call a chaos huh? this is what we call chaos so in chaos we have uh, information that is impossible that you would know so you never been in next exercise so you just you will be confused right there are some unknowable unknowns and you are asked to act you need to survive you need to run yeah, so this leads us to a chaotic situation, which is always temporarily. It's a temporary stage in which it leads you to confusion. I don't know what is happening here. I don't know. Should I run? I didn't understand the exercise. Or I'm killed. So is there a solution? And as you might know, there is no perfect solution for this game. There is no perfect solution for this game. For sure, you will do something that is not going to solve the problem in a repeatable way. It's just something new. Something that you did for the first time, like being in a keynote talk at the last minute of a conference, just running around a big room. Yeah, I wanted to get you confused. So, the organization needs capability to face situations that involves being able to respond. And uh, there is no way to solve in a repeatable way that situation. They will surprise the, the organization, they will confuse the organization, and it's important that when the chaos finish, the organization is still stable again. Yeah? Things happen, you know, like this server going down, we have a security attack, or we have a social media attack, or we have a political economical crisis. And organization should be strong enough to overcome that situation. And after that situation, coming back and be still strong, be still there and continue working. This, that's, this is what we call resilience. Yeah? All organization needs resilience. Need to be able to recover after chaos. Recover after chaos. And be strong. This is something that happens now more and more. Our environment has more variables and elements. There are more competitors, new covers in the market, more complex society, customer with more power. Now you, have a, you can have a reputational problem in any organization like this, and that can destroy your business. Tomorrow on Twitter they say that you are doing something terrible in your organization, your reputation will never go down, and you're going to feel the effect. So resilience is critical. These guys here, these guys here, that they are taking care of people, yeah, 
So HR, coaches, they should care for that. They should care for resilience. So build an organization that are strong to absorb chaos. So thank you for being here. Yeah. All organizations need these capabilities. And the human nature, the human being needs capability to survive. Survive. Okay? Good. So understanding that, understanding that crisis can happen, understanding that um, uh, we need capabilities to do standards, to do engineering, to experiment, and to do resilience, we need to learn now how to develop these organizational capabilities. So to me, agility is about that. Not about forgetting about standards or forgetting about project management or forgetting about anything. This growing what you need now more and uh, actually growing everything. Developing organizational capabilities in all quadrants, all lines, all levels, all stages, and all types. What? what? What did you say? Okay, so we are going to work in this 17 minutes that we have in these five elements. Quadrants, lines, levels, stages, and types. So you understand better your work. And you understand better what is going on in the Agile community. So we have the quadrants. We have the quadrants already. And we are going to put a little bit of extra information in these quadrants. Now we're going to understand, not, now we're going to talk not about the problem, but about the capability. Yeah? Understood? Capabilities. So in order to ca have capabilities to work on standards, we need to develop what we call the I, the I capability. which is intentional, intentional capabilities, yeah? So each of the individuals of this team of developers, they should be able and they should be improving individually themselves as developers, as craftsmen. And this is a way in which organization will grow because he will care about being a better developer. He too, he too, he too, he too, he too, he too, yeah? Individual development or they only involves myself. Yeah, understood? One level of development. Uh, one level of development. I, yeah, interior. We also need to be able, the capability to work together with another person to do engineering analysis, yeah? We're going to call that it, behavioral. So when these guys or these guys get together, and they come up with a better solution because they work together and do better analysis, yeah? So this is the behavioral side. We improve if each of the individuals improve and we improve also, on top of that, is we learn how to work better together, yeah? Make sense? Yeah, following me? Good. We're going to call that it. And this part is easy because it's this is the control world. We're going to go to the non-control world, which is here, the customer. So we need to develop capabilities to connect with the rest of the universe, to whatever is outside of the company, and give experiments to try it out by uh, customers and get the feedback with the customer. We're going to call that the social capability of the company. Social capability, which is the it's. Social capability, us as part of a bigger system, our organization as part of a country or of a planet, yeah? So this is the its capability, yeah? Good. And it's helping in our experimentation capabilities, yeah? Good. And here we have, here we have everything related to the strength and communication between all the parts of organization, yeah? So how we get together. So for us, the identity of the company is important. And if something happens, I'm going to do my best to help the company. So the company is resilient. We're going to call that the cultural, cultural side, cultural development, yes? And this is we. We're going to call it we, cultural side 
of development. Yeah. So saying that all quadrants, when I say all quadrants, I mean if we want to grow the company, we need to grow each of the individuals on their standards and practices. They working together on the engineering and delivery and efficiency. The experimentation towards the, co the customer, which is the social part of the business, and uh, the strength of the culture of the organization, which is the cultural side. The believing in the company, the identity. Yeah? If we forget any of this, anything that we do will be useless. In the past, we were putting effort here and here, and often forgetting about here and here. My fear now is that in Agile, we will put a lot of effort here and we'll forget again about this. And this won't work. All quadrants. So this is what I need you to do. And for it, I need the help of the organizer. Can we have a A3, A3 paper? A4, A4, sorry, A A4, yeah, A4. So what we're going to do is this. In your team, I need you guys to write possible goals that you would put in your organization that make sense with your quadrants. Yeah? So things here, goals for your organization so each people improve individually. Goals for your organization so people improve how they work together towards delivering something. These people, so they goals so the organization improve on how they understand and learn from the customer. And these people put goals to create the stronger teams. Yeah? Okay? So you have here paper. You have uh, three, four minutes. Yes, write down goals. Okay? And put it in the quadrant inside. Goals. Okay, go. Write goals. Possible goals in all quadrants. You, you choose, whatever you, you prefer. Just write goals. See you with you later. Last minute.
Okay. Good. Whatever we have is enough. Whatever we have is enough. So you see here, we're we're putting some goals, and this is this is something. This is something that I do in the organization that I work with, right? I don't establish goals for agility. Agility is just a way to find an ultimate result. I get them understanding what are their goals, right? In each of these dimensions, what do you want to achieve? I can also say that we are here kind of bias, kind of bias, because uh, I see this in the engineer or project management side, things like trust, autonomy, but this is not true. Usually I see here deadlines, cost, budget. Yeah, these are the kind of goals that we establish here in project management. Yeah, okay. But good, it's just, we are, I just want you to uh, work out your brain yeah, so you know what I'm talking about. So first, establish goal in each of the quadrants, all quadrants. So next thing is lines. So the lines are just possible ways to work in this goal. There are thousands of possible lines here, thousands of possible initiatives and KPIs that you can measure in order to achieve this goal, right? This is, these goals are why yeah, this is the, the, what do you want to achieve? So, and how do you want to achieve it, or what can you do to achieve it, is what we're going to work now. So, three minutes again to work on possible KPIs that will get you closer to these goals. Okay, understood? So, go. Put the KPIs outside. So, inside we have goals, outside we have KPIs. Or, yeah, KPIs that would lead me to understand if I'm growing in that direction or not. Yeah? Key performance indicators. So go. Three minutes. Very good. Very good. Okay, great. Okay. The last minute. Like in Spain, one person works and the rest of the book. 
Okay. Okay, whatever whatever we have is enough. Yeah, I just wanted you to you know explore a little bit the ideas and how we separated four types of goals, yeah, four quadrants and now four and now several lines in each quadrant, yeah. So what I do with my customers is I focus on one goal per quadrant and get three KPIs to connect with that goal in each of the quadrant, yeah? So I get some focus working towards that goal, yeah? For one quarter ish, and then I change, yeah? So m there are many elements, then many techniques on how to set goals and how to set KPIs. The question I'm trying to answer is which one, which KPIs, which goals, yeah? These four quadrants. Okay, so we have the quadrants, and we know that they are, we've seen that there are some quadrants that are oriented to the exterior of the organization and some quadrants that are oriented to the interior of the organization. Yeah, so this, this part here is co connected to the interior. This is connected to how I, uh, what I deliver and how the customer reacts. So this is connected to the exterior. Also, there are some things that relate to individual, so the I or us, but without us, without the social system, or grouple. So the us together as an identity, or the us as part of a social system, big and system. Yeah. Therefore, therefore, we have a subjective mindset objective mindset intersubjective mindset interobjective mindset from system to system yeah understood okay so the next element we said all quadrants or lines several lines we're going to talk about seven the levels so let's do this exercise. Think about your organization. Where do you work now? And if you feel, for example, if you're here in this side and you feel that in this side, in the standards, my organization is really bad, I will put myself like this. If I think it's okay, I'll do like this. Good, great, yeah? So I, I want to see how do you feel about your organization in your quadrant, yeah? Understood? Go, just please position yourself. Okay, good. You see? Here you have different, different levels of standardization, different levels of engineering, different levels of experimentations, and different levels of, <laughs> this is lying down on the floor. <laughs> of people oriented resilience so this i mean th th with this i mean th how good or bad we are in this different quadrants this is the different levels so what we want to do is not to improve all levels yeah we want to imp get the organization to a next different stage you can come back thanks a lot you can come back normal okay want to there to get the organization to a higher stage yeah so if I have a lot of low here, for example, I need the higher levels here, so I would need to put effort on coaching and helping here to balance this situation, right? Bigger, higher stages of development involve more higher lines, yeah? More higher lines, and this is what we do, yeah? So to do the exercise we are going to do now is you have to forget about your team and just position yourself in wherever you think your organization is better at, yeah? So if I think my organization is super good at standards, I will stay here 
if I think we are super good at experimentation, we're going to stay here and so on and so forth. Yeah, just go to whatever you think your organization is best at. Yeah, okay, okay. So here you can see an example, right? So it's like a circle. According to all my levels, oh, I'm in this stage. And if I want to improve the organization, I need to get the organization to a superior stage. What is happening in the, what is happening in the world of business is that we have a lot of organizations that are at very high levels here in these two sides, and very low levels here. And what we are trying to do in the IR community is to raise these levels of experimentations and resilience and caring about people and caring about customers and caring about experiments and feedback. Yeah? So that we have uh, organization in a higher stage. Yeah? Understood? Higher stage. We need to get this. The, we need to go organization to the next level, that's what I said before, how we started. Next level is a higher stage, okay? Good. So now we need to understand what type of business we are working on. Because the business might or might not require a specific uh, stage. Yeah? For example, it's not the same business if you are trying to sell coffee in your coffee shop. That is, you are trying to find the new service that is going to change the insurance market, for example. Or you're going to use a blockchain for whatever. Right? So you need a different stage for different kind of business. If you are digging a hole, you don't need a really high stage. Right? If you're just digging holes or building uh, 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 or, or putting bricks or something like that. But maybe you want to, if you want to innovate and create this super new product that everybody would love, you need a higher state in a specific zone, in a specific quadrant. So for that, I need you to move not to what are you better at, because I, I want you to move to whatever you think your organization needs more according to the type of business that you're doing, yeah? What do your organization needs more? Wow. <laughs> and this is why you are here. This is why you're here. Because you need more of this. And actually, what is happening in agility is we're trying to find more of this. But in the future, the environment will be more sensitive to chaos. More, we will find more situations that are completely confused the organization. And after agility, resilience will come. Building capabilities of resilience will be the next thing after agility. That's why we're here. So this is the different types of business. Types, your business involves an interpretation of the quadrant, preference of what kind of quadrant do you need more, and more emphasis in the quadrant. So now businesses are asking us to put emphasis in this quadrant. This is what is happening. Yeah. So you see here, we have some type of business that r has a specific type a specific type that requires more effort on one of the quadrants, right? And some other businesses, as for example banking, used to be one type, used to be super good at the standards, uh, super good at engineering, uh, financial engineering, and that was enough. And now the customer is super strong and they need more of this. So they are, what is happening in society, they are changing types. Organizations are changing types. This is what is going on. So everything that we do, everything that we do, everything. So more programming, uh, TDD, BDD, having one backlog, Kanban, start, stop starting, start finishing, 
getting feedback from the customer, lean startup, design thinking, retrospectives, management 3.0, new performance appraisals. There are no other things that lines in this quadrant. See, if we understand this, if we understand that we are trying to work in all quadrants, all lines, all levels, all stages, all types, we are standing we're understanding how to get the organization to the next level in a conscious way, in an informed way. It's not respectful to say that other things are not useful. Don't do it. Don't say, no, 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 forget about this. No, no, forget about standards. It's a bad idea. If you talk about something that you don't know, you're going to talk about transformations and you, know, no, you don't know what are the results, you're going to get fear. Avoid that. Create consciousness. Don't create false expectations. If you install agility, everything will be super good. It's a bad idea. Just get people understanding who they are and what they want and move forward. Consciousness from consciousness, improvement. Otherwise, people will fake the results. People will say, we are agile. Everything is going super good. And this is a bad idea. It's not going to help organizations to grow. So don't create a revolution. Create an evolution. Grow experimentation capabilities and resilience. We are doing that. This is good. And this is the way to grow organizations. That's all. Great.